The friction on an inclined plane set is a complete solution for students to investigate equilibrium of forces, free body diagrams, coefficient of friction. The kit comes with an inclined plane with a large easy to read scale, two wooden blocks of different sizes, a weight pan to serve as the force pulling the object over the pulley, a steel plate, string, a low friction hauls carriage, and an instruction manual. The only additional materials you will need is a weight set, either a hook set or a slotted mass set. The protractor has a scale on both sides. With the swing nut you can easily adjust the angle and lock it in place for your experiment. Besides having a curved protractor, there is also a vertical height scale and a scale directly on the ramp itself. Here is the initial setup for investigating friction on an inclined plane. Now in the beginning they're just going to see a block of wood on a ramp with some masses over the edge, but hopefully once you get into free body diagrams this is what they start to see and start to view the world in as being nothing but vectors and forces. When you're introducing friction to students you have to remember there are two types. Right now this is demonstrating static friction and if you want to demonstrate sliding friction you find that mass and that angle where if you just tap it it just starts to slide at a constant velocity. If you want to do a sliding experiment and you want to take advantage of the full length of the incline, just move this to the edge of your table. That way you have a longer distance that the mass can fall. When you place in the hull's carriage, you can also investigate equilibrium of forces, just like with the block. With a convenient hole built into the hull's carriage, you can also place masses there and investigate acceleration down the ramp. The friction on an inclined plane set gives students a reliable and repeatable way to investigate free body diagrams, friction, and equilibrium of forces. But beyond those topics, there's so much more you can do with this apparatus. You can investigate an acceleration up or down an inclined plane. You can set it flat and use it as a modified Atwood machine. You can also investigate mechanical advantage of an inclined plane and the work done in moving an object.